large ancient forests have become rare in Europe. When dead trees are left standing, they provide a home for new life. A very rare forest dweller can be found hidden behind the bark, the Barbastel bat. These bats have a distinctive pug-like nose and ears that meet in the middle above the nose. Even though its long wingspan is almost as wide as this piece of paper, it is as light as this pencil. The barber cell bat hunts at night using echolocation. Thanks to its long wings, it is one of the quickest bats in the forest. The barber cell bat enjoys a diet of nocturnal moths, and moths love flowering margins, as do their diurnal relatives. The Barbastel bat can only find enough food in such habitats. The Barbastel bat sleeps during the day in its modest home. Its ideal habitat is a spacious crack under the bark of an old tree. It doesn't matter whether it's oak, spruce or beech. A crack in bark isn't stable enough to be a permanent home, which is why these bats need a number of suitable homes so they can move around if necessary. They look for trees with cracks in the bark and practice flying to them so they can remember the location well. In some regions of Germany, Barberstel bats like to live in crevices in buildings. As long as they are in close proximity to forests. The bat droppings tell us who is living behind the shutters. In many forests, there are not enough natural roosts. This flat box serves as a nursery roost. Around 20 Barberstel bats are nursing their young in this box. While the mothers are out hunting, there is a battle for the comfiest space. Soon the young bats will be fully fledged and will brave their first evening flight into the forest. In freezing temperatures, even this cold tolerant species finds it too unpleasant to stay in the tree. Then the Barberstel bats move to their winter home, for example a well insulated basement or a cave. In an old railway tunnel, hundreds of Barberstel bats hibernate, hanging upside down from the soot blackened ceiling. Once the warmer weather arrives, the tranquility in the tunnel ends. And the first Barberstel bats make their way into the forest. In Europe, the Barberstel bat is very rare, endangered and therefore strictly protected. Germany's forests are one of its main distribution areas. This is why we have a special responsibility within Europe to protect this species. Although Germany still has a large share of forested land, the Barberstel bat hardly finds suitable living conditions anymore. In our commercial forests, Dying trees are usually removed. 
and healthy trees are generally harvested when middle-aged. It is only when they reach old age that they can offer more habitats for many forest animals with their woodpecker holes and dead wood. The barbastel bat can only establish stable populations where there are enough of these habitats. We need more wild and diverse areas in our forests for these specialist forest dwellers. When forests provide habitats for barbastel bats again, many other rare species also benefit. The project Protecting and Promoting the Barbastel Bat in Germany, part of the Federal Biological Diversity Programme, is looking into the current size of barbastel bat populations and how exactly they can be helped. The project is being supported by the Federal Agency for Nature Conservation with funding from the Federal Environment and Consumer Protection Ministry. In cooperation with forest stakeholders and forest owners, the project will improve habitats for the barbastel bat while enhancing biodiversity in our forests. Together we can live up to our special responsibility to protect this fascinating species. In this sense, let us live in harmony with Barbastel Bat.